Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. Hi Bumblebee and Diane, you're always the first two here. Uh, has anybody, was anybody in the path of the full eclipse today? I was. My kids were, my daughter was. My daughter, in fact, was even closer to the center. And she had glasses. I didn't have any of the glass. I didn't have the glasses, so I couldn't look at it until it became a full, fully covered. It happened here at 313 or something like that. Yes, my my thing was uh, to be outside and to be watching the chickens and to see if they would go to roost. You know, there were a lot of people studying animal behavior during this. I was doing my own little study with my chickens. My dog didn't, I don't, she didn't seem to notice anything. And neither did my cat. Hi, Claire. Yes, Claire, I am completely tired also. I am just pooped. <sighs> Guitar guy, hi. Yes, yeah, so I, I went outside and it got dark so fast when it when it did cover. Even if there's a tiny slit, it's still light out. That's how powerful the sun is. But once it gets covered, it gets dark so fast. It got dark just like night. And uh, I was over by my chickens, and but they did not go in to roost. They sort of stood around like they didn't know what was happening maybe. But they didn't go to roost. I thought maybe they would as it got darker. But it went from being sort of dim it was a funny kind of a of a uh, as it got darker it made the colors all sort of brighter out it was a funny shade and um yes it was pretty out and then when it started to get dark it got dark fast and the same it was it was a full coverage here for about three three minutes or so. It was pretty long. Once it covered fully, I could look at it, uh, but I didn't have the glasses, so I couldn't watch before. But I had seen the one in twenty seventeen that was a partial, and I did have uh, glasses back then. I don't know what happened to them. And I did see as, you know, as it starts to cover. So I've seen that part, but I never saw a full coverage. So it was really amazing how how fast it got dark. And then when it, it came out, and it's called Diamond Ring, when the sun first peeks through, it's like a, like a diamond. And, uh, yeah, as soon as that happened, I couldn't watch. I couldn't look at it anymore because it is so bright. Even a tiny piece coming out, it's just so bright. So, yeah, my chickens didn't really. I think they got quieter, but they didn't go to roost. What I did notice as it got darker, the um, birds, wild birds. Um, at first, they they were chirping a lot, and then they sort of uh, quieted down. But that's about all I noticed about my animals around here. Uh, classy Dahlia, hi. Let's see here. Oh, you you watched? Yeah, okay. You had glasses. I don't know why I didn't have glasses, you know. <laughs> uh, someone's going to have to string me up to get me to take some pictures so I can go on Poshmark every day. I put it off and put it off. 
Oh dear. <laughs> well, I can't say anything because I have put off uh, going thrifting and I put off, I have, I got some things out of my own closet. So I have like three, three or four things to list and I put that off too. I just am so tired. Uh, I did get a video up that when I watched it, I got, I really got upset. I almost took it off because it taught me one thing. I am never going to take a video of myself out in the sun or out in the car in the daylight again. That's it. I'll do shopping videos, but it's not going to have me in there. Uh, yeah. So most of the shopping video that I put on today is just, you know, me pushing the cart and getting things. But then I don't know why I think I have to take a picture of myself saying something in the car because. And then, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen again. Anyway, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy editing, but uh, I didn't enjoy watching myself on the big TV. It popped up as I was as I was watching something else. Then I was next, and I thought, "Oh no!" I almost came in here and took it, deleted it off of YouTube. That's how upset I was. But then I saw that there had been several people <laughs> had already watched it. God bless you all. Uh, there is one more I have in the camera. It's a short one about the haul I got uh, yesterday from Aldi delivered. And I'll show you what I got. But that shouldn't be quite as bad because I'm not out in the sunshine. No, the chickens didn't have their glasses on, and I don't think they looked up. <laughs> they were under the trees. Yeah, mine didn't really react. They might have gotten quieter. The chickens, I don't think, knew what was happening, but it was didn't last very long. You know, it's only uh, three minutes or so. But I thought for sure they would go into the coop, but they didn't. Uh, my my son didn't have to go to work today. They call. Uh, she let everybody off because of the traffic. Number one, there was a big a big thing going on at the Rock Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Uh that mu that must have been something. It, it they covered it on CNN. Uh, they played music. I mean, they had speakers all over the city. I guess they had they played Pink Floyd. You know, of course they have a couple things about the eclipse and about the full moon and yeah. I loved Pink Floyd back in the day. <laughs> <clears throat> But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that would have been funny. I don't know why I didn't pick up some glasses. If I would have seen them out in the store laying it like at the cash register to buy them, Michelle got hers at Myers. She said they were $2 a piece. And she was really glad she had them. So she said, uh, hurry up, start watching the, uh, she called me, or she texted me, hurry up, start watching, it's starting to happen. I said, I don't have glasses. She says, oh, you're bumming. <laughs> but she told me when it was about to go full, and then I could look at it. So, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, so many people saw it this time. And it's not going to be a full, full one like this one for 400 and some years. The next one is going to be a partial or the moon isn't going to be as big or something. It's going to be different. 
but then the one the really full one like this one is going is not for 400 years ah uh, Pink Floyd, oh, I'll need to hang out with Shirley. Yeah, yeah, I liked, I really liked Pink Floyd back in the day. Mm. You can relate about not wanting to be on TV. <laughs> oh dear. But how are we gonna get, uh, who is it here? Janet. I lost you here. Oh, Claire. Claire needs to get her stuff started on Poshmark. Yes. Uh, I have made some Poshmark sales, but I had zero eBay sales today. And it's because I haven't been active in my eBay store at all. And that really uh, matters with eBay. Hubby and I watch your video of your shot. Oh, dear. God bless you. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. I don't know how I got so old. You know, I was just 34 a, a couple of years ago. Oh, dear. Bird just hit the window. Yeah. Uh, my my favorite Pink Floyd album. Oh dear. I wish I still had them. I wish I still had the actual albums. Mm. I don't I don't even remember names. There's a, I know I just watched recently in the last couple of years, there is a group that, what they're, what they, what are they called when they, they do their music and they sound so much like them. I think they have to have permission of, of the original group to do it off the wall. Yes. Yes. Off the wall. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think I had a lot of their albums. And it was during that whole time. You know, I know. I wish I had the vinyl ones. Brit Floyd. Is that an album? Because that doesn't sound familiar. I know that uh, the two Nick and Andrea, they had a music store way back when, way back. He knows everything about music and, and albums and everything. He'd know, he could, he could tell you off the bat what albums, what, what uh, groups had, right, you know. The cover band, yes. Late 70s and 80s, yeah. That's when I was at my peak. <laughs> ah, it was. Yes, for sure. Yeah, the cover band. Uh, I watched them at Red Rock. It's a couple of years ago I saw it. My, my son told me it was going to be on. I forget what channel or anything it was on, but I really enjoyed that. It sure sounded like them. Your better half is like that with albums. Oh, yeah. Finals making a comeback. Yes, for sure. Even with youngsters, nothing sounds better. Yeah, I see people picking through vinyl, vinyl at the at the uh, thrift stores all the time, and I figure, well. 
they're collectors or they're selling and they probably know a whole lot more than me. I don't know much about it at all. But anything that I've looked at in the albums, they're so scratched up, I wouldn't think they'd be worth much. Don't they have to be in pretty good condition? I know there's a machine like Nick, Nick from Britain. He has a machine that he can, he can put them on. He also has it for DVDs and it helps uh, with any scratches and things. Do you remember the young rascals? Yes. <laughs> I remember all of them. Oh, Eric Clampton, yeah. Who else? I wish I don't know. You know, when I got divorced, my with my from my first husband, I left there in such a hurry. We had a. That's where they, they, I probably left them because. Uh, there was a big 78, you know, player there. One of those big, long, wooden piece of furniture. And inside is where you could store all your albums. And I'm sure that's where they were. Rolling Stones, yeah. Now, I wasn't a big Rolling Stones fan. My son loves all that stuff, too, now. Yeah. But, hmm. Then I think one of the guys I dated before I met Jack, he was into a lot of uh, music, too. He had a lot of albums. Uh, Thrift always has Perry Comer or Johnny Mathis. Well, I, lo I love Johnny Mathis. Not so much Perry Comer. But never find good stuff like Floyd or Hendrix. Uh, yeah, none of the classic rock. Have you been to the Rock Hall? Up here in Cleveland. Mm. I don't keep up, up with bands anymore, to tell you the truth. Uh, the Bee Gees, yes. They are one of my favorites, for sure. I love the Bee Gees. Uh, Yeah, I still have some t DVDs, but not not albums. I have to get them out and see what I have here. Uh, most of this over here, though, I have a lot of Christian albums and gospel, but I know I have some. I know I have the Bee Gees for sure. Hmm. Hello, everybody from Progressive Insurance. He, oh, wait, I got two of those mixed up. Hello, everybody. Popcorn, yellow stripe, <laughs> fly moves. He lives across from Progressive Insurance. Forget the t t who does. I think I missed something. You're very musical. Guitar guy, well, I can tell by his name. <laughs> music, you know, music brings back memories almost as good as scents. Another thing that brings back memories is the smell of things, scents. And you know, after somebody after somebody dies or passes sometimes you just forget 
what they sound like, what they, you know, after 20 years or more, you, f you sort of forget. I would love to hear my father's voice again, and there's nothing with his voice on. But, uh, yeah, there's some things I have uh, with Jack's voice on. But I keep this around. There's the cologne in here. He wore this and nothing but this. And to me, this is Jack. And every once in a while, I just open it up and take a sniff. <laughs> yeah. But music, you're right. Music really uh, your late husband played with Tommy James and the Shondells. Wow, he was a bass guitar player. Or the Ronettes. Ron Ronettes. Wow. Your uncle took you to the Hall of Fame. Oh good. I'm glad you got there. <laughs> Bumblebee, you're repotting houseplants, so can't type much, but welcome all. You know, I have, I forgot to tell you, I killed my orchid. <laughs> I mean, it was going dormant. So I took it from where it was in the light. It was completely dormant. And... The girl that gave it to me that knows a lot about orchids, she cut, she trimmed it. And then I just put it in the dining room way, sort of in the dark. And then she saw it when she came to clean and she says, I think this is dead. <laughs> I says, well, what if I just watered a bunch and see what happens? She says, well, go ahead. I don't think anything's going to happen. And it didn't. Uh, Jack passed uh, 19 years ago now, in January 13. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. My husband loved country western. That's all he liked. Yeah. I didn't like country western at all back when I met him. I didn't like it at all. But then it sort of grew on me after a while. I like some. Uh, some things, but not. Yeah. I was more back, actually, after Pink Floyd and that whole era, then disco came. And then that was my, that was when I broke out. <laughs> I had gotten divorced and I was on the loose in the disco era. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you stories back about that. <laughs> oh. That's back, actually. That was after I had been painting, because I, when I had been painting, that was back when I was married the first time, so it was after that. Then I, you know... Moved into an apartment with the kids. And uh, the two, my two girlfriends were, one was a nurse, uh, Becky. And uh, the other was the uh, secretary on the floor we worked on. And the two, three of us, we went to the Bahamas. It was the first time I had ever been on an airplane, ever. And uh, I met somebody in the Bahamas. I think I told you this. He worked for Eastern Airlines. He even came back to visit here. 
I lived in Strongsville in a big apartment house, big apartment building with the kids. I worked. And during that whole time, then I met uh, somebody that I went with for a while. And then after that, I met Jack. How can you not dance when you hear disco? That's right. Even me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Staying alive. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh. Yeah. I Yeah, I do love music. But, you know, I love all kinds of music. Like I said, I didn't wasn't crazy about country western, but I love classical music too because I grew up taking twelve years of classical piano, <laughs> piano. I used to play the piano, piano quite well, and uh, then when I went to nursing, of course, the piano was in my parents' house, and. Uh, I never played after that. And when I was married to finally to Jack and lived in Parma Heights, we got a piano. Uh, his daughter, his ex wife had died where his kids lived. And so then all of a sudden, I had two more kids, teenagers, and mine were teenagers. <laughs> Four teenagers in the house and all kinds of animals. And that's when Jack kept going through saying, it's like a zoo in here. <laughs> but, yeah, she brought her mother's piano when she moved in. And there was a perfect place for it in that house. And I was so glad she brought it because I thought, I'm just going to be able to sit down and play. But... I couldn't. I sat down and tried to play, and I couldn't even reach it an octave with my hands. I was so disappointed. I blamed it on not having my own music still. My own, you know. I mean, I could play some little stuff, but not, I couldn't play. I used to play. The thing I used to drum out on the piano all the time was Malaguena. I used to play that so often. It's a good it's a good piece to play if you're upset or angry. <laughs> huh. Yeah, so yeah. Don't have the piano anymore. <clears throat> Love it, Disco Debbie. <laughs> uh, you saw Saturday Night Fever probably 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the good music. Hi, Shirley from Connie and my mom, Judy, in Nashville. Hi. We haven't... Been here in a few weeks. Good to see you. Well, thank you, Connie. Welcome back. <clears throat> yeah, we were talking about the eclipse and how my chickens reacted, which they didn't really. <laughs> and somebody was on CNN. They were uh, had people stationed all, <clears throat> all over, and they had... Uh, some people in big zoos, you know, watching the animals. And they did say that when it got really dark, some of the animals, uh, like, sort of herded together like they would to pr for protection at night. And some sort of got ready to go to where they sleep at. But uh, not huge reactions. It doesn't last that long. And... My chickens did not go to roost. I was sure they would. <laughs> that information <laughs> was not shared on 50 things about Shirley. 
Oh, the classical piano. There was a lot not shared on there. Yeah, I forgot to put that on there. Well, I'll tell you one thing. One of the big highlights of my whole life is I got to see uh, Pavarotti in person. It was down in the uh, stadium when the it was in the Brown Stadium, the old Brown Stadium. And he played, uh, it was the three, it was the three tenors. And uh, my girlfriend, Jack's, uh, one of Jack's buddies' uh, wife, we were friends, and she got tickets somehow. And she invited me to go with her. And that was one of the highlights of my uh, life. Yes. You love Pavarotti too. Yeah, amazing, just amazing. I think I cried half the time I was there. <laughs> oh. mm. Andrea Broselli, yeah, yes, yes, I love him too. Yeah, so I do, I love all kinds of music. Uh, my daughter does too. She likes all kinds of music. So, yeah, both of my kids. My son is more classic rock. It's why he has the guitars, collects the guitars, mostly electric. And, yeah. And he plays, but he won't play for anybody. I mean, he just plays for his own enjoyment. So that's about all. I really didn't have anything to talk about, but we ended up talking about music, which is good. Um, I can't think of the name, you know, this isn't a good day for names for me. But who's the country western? He's not real, real country western. He's short, and he's married to a movie star, and she's tall, and she's beautiful. She's blonde. He's popular right now. Who is that? Uh, the reason I I thought of him was because I was watching things you should buy. Things you should buy at Costco in the month of April. Does anybody watch the deal guy? Keith Urban. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I do like him. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like him. Um, they're selling a guitar. It's a Yamaha, but it's a, it's a Keith Urban guitar. I forget how much he said. It's like $150 or something. You love the deal guy? I do too. My son uh, told me about him like, I don't know, six months or so ago. And he watches him all the time. And he says he's real quirky. And you'll like him. Just keep watching him for a while. So I started watching him, and he is, he's so strange. <laughs> and, yeah, he's, I, I enjoy. He, he does a number of stores at the beginning of each month of what you should be buying. He does the dollar store, and he does Costco, you know. I will have to watch. Is it on? Yes, it's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, watch him. Uh But he is kind of strange. Uh, well, if Shelly was here, I was going to try to... I took a couple... I took a picture of my cat today. She wanted to see my cat. 
Yes, he <laughs> yes. He tries out desserts in the back of his car. Uh, he's sweet and funny and a little weird. Yes, he is. Uh, he, yeah, he likes to taste. He likes to, you can't see him tasting the stuff, but you can see the bite out of something. He, I think he really likes sweets. Uh, he is full of energy. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. So everybody should go watch him. He's funny. Uh, yeah, in fact, he showed something to, I watched the Costco one today and there was something on there. I'm going, oh, this, the fan, uh, a stand fan. You don't see them much. And uh, it's the kind that I had upstairs that I really liked. And the one upstairs in my bedroom, because I have no air conditioning upstairs, uh, has died. And I need a fan before summer comes. And it was the kind that I liked before. And I want to tell my son. My son goes there once a week to Costco. And I'm going to tell him to pick up that fan for me. <clears throat> Yes, yeah, so I'm going to uh, close for now. And if I put on a video tomorrow, I probably won't be on tomorrow night. So I won't be on Tuesday or Wednesday. But I'll be back on Thursday. Now, if I don't get this video up tomorrow, I'll be on it. If you see a video, it's just a short video about a haul from Aldi. But I'll be back on Thursday. Uh, so thank you for joining me tonight. I don't know what I've uh, done on YouTube lately as far as watchers or, I mean, subscribers. But my subscribers, of course, have leveled out because uh, everybody here is subscribed. You see me then, yeah. But um, and I'm I'm making so far a whopping thirty eight dollars and seventy five cents. <laughs> hey, I'm happy with anything. Uh Yes, please, thumbs up. I, I, You know, I've made videos where I even forgot to say who I was, and I always forget to say, please subscribe, and gives me, give me a thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe, everybody. This is fun talking about music. Yeah, I'm going to look up what I have here. Uh, no more vinyl, but I do have some CDs. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.